Welcome to the Aquablast Tech. Today we will be comparing our Sun Blaster machine, which we created especially for those videos, and our Aquablast Light 900 machine. Let's start. See what we brought to test. There is age-old rust, melted suit buildup, and God knows what else. Today we are going to clean one disc with metal shot Sun Blasting and the other one with the Aqua Blasting. We increase the working pressure and place our disc in the chamber. You can immediately see the difference in cleaning speed compared to the Aqua Blast. We would probably have to use a larger abrasive fraction on Sand Blaster. This type of dirt is extremely difficult to remove, but I'm sure the Aqua Blast can handle it. Even the closed chamber doesn't protect against the dust. Visibility after 5 minutes of cleaning is almost zero. However, you can see much better on the camera than with the naked eye. It is necessary to work in the mask during cleaning. The disc is about 50% clean. The main layer of rust has been removed, but stains are still visible. The edge and hard to reach areas are not fully cleaned. Sand blasting took almost an hour and a half, and the dirt is still there. The layer of rust came up in the seconds, but with very strong carbon buildup, there were similar problems to sand blasting. Note how quickly the water stained from the rust. This clearly shows the level of dirt on the disc. To maintain the efficiency of the cleaning process and change the water less often, we have installed a water cleaning system. More details about this option can be found on our channel. It's been a long time since we serviced the purification system. Better not to do it that way. On the left, the effect of cleaning with sand blaster. On the right, the effect of cleaning with Aquablast Light 900. Sand blasting left a gritty texture. Aquablast provides a very smooth surface. It is two and a half times faster on this type of dirt. Protest control and gentle edge treatment. If you care about the quality of the surface after cleaning, speed and precision, definitely Aquablast wins.